Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Joel Klatt, and this is a Joel Klatt Show YouTube exclusive. We are here just for you to break down these top quarterbacks in the 2024 NFL Draft, and I've got the video to back it up. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with my top five quarterbacks, but we really need to get to my top six. So I've got video of my top six guys, and I'm going to start with my number one quarterback, Caleb Williams, okay? I've been telling you guys really ever since the fall, about these five categories that I like to evaluate quarterbacks in, okay? And so I wanted to bring up those categories here and so that you can see them, and then we can evaluate Caleb Williams together in these categories. Football IQ, pocket control, arm talent, creativity, and mobility. Now, I happen to believe that Caleb is elite in every one of these categories, but let's let the film actually tell us why he is elite in every one of those categories. Let's start here with this game against Arizona State. Okay, first of all, you're going to have five free releases. You've got these two down, down uh, wide receivers down here. They're going to block for a swing screen. And Caleb Williams has to read that side first. It's a full field read. So the first thing he's going to do is read over here to his left side. He doesn't like it because he's got a safety and a linebacker moving this way. Watch him control the pocket, understand the game, and move back to his right side. So now he's on his third, now fourth read based on this linebacker. Keep in mind he is continuing to manipulate the pocket, read the play out, and he gets all the way to his fourth man in his progression, and he throws an absolute dime perfectly in stride, ready to go. What did that show us? He's He's got a high football IQ, it's elite, and he's got elite pocket control. He can stay calm in the midst of chaos around him and make a read and make a throw. So that's a couple of categories right there. Let's continue. Same type of play here in that you're going to get five free releases. Now, what you've got to understand is what you're looking at because Zachariah Branch, their true freshman who's really an elite player, he's got this jerk route. And so what you want is a one-on-one -on -one with Zachariah Branch. But right now, it doesn't look like they have that. They've got a linebacker walked out and a safety, but the linebacker blitzes, and this linebacker runs out with the swing screen. So now Caleb Williams, post-snap, has to understand what he's looking at and go back to the jerk route, calm himself in the pocket so he can wait for Branch to break once and then come back on the double move, and then he's got to give him a great ball. And this is where arm talent comes into play. You've got to understand the trajectory, you've got to understand the touch, and you've got to put it out in front of him so that he can make a play after the catch. That's what I love about Caleb Williams. We continue on here. Now you're going to have a, a, a similar effect in that you've got five free releases, so he's got to understand what he's looking at pre-snap and what he gets post-snap. Football IQ off the charts here. He's got a combination route down here. He's got a safety in the middle of the field, and he understands that with this swing and a slant, if he's got all of this space right here now, this one defender, he's the only one I'm reading. If he runs out with this screen, with this swing, I should say, now I can throw the slant behind it. But this is where arm talent comes into play. I better get on that back foot and throw a missile. Zoom right into a tight window, and it's got to be out in front, which it is. It's in the chest, and he can run after the catch, and he gets positive yards after the catch. Guys, that's, that's tough to do. So you go back to the grade sheet, and it's like, all right, he has shown us now football IQ. He's shown us pocket control. He's showing us elite arm talent. It's all there, accuracy. All of it is there. So now it comes down to, like, creativity, mobility. What do we get? when we get Caleb Williams in those settings? Well, let's let the tape talk for itself. Colorado game, game that Gus and I were calling. This play happened, I thought to myself, no way. First of all, he's dancing, he's dancing, and now he gets uh, basically a dead run to his left. Look at his body position. He goes off his right foot and throws it back across his body down the field 20, 25 yards to an open wide receiver. It's on the money up on top of his helmet, and he can run after the catch. He doesn't bring him down to the ground. He runs after the catch. Creativity, elite. Arm talent, elite. Guys don't make that throw. IQ, control, talent, creativity. It's all there. So now the last thing that we've got to evaluate is his ability to be a threat as a runner. Are his legs a threat? Well, we don't even need the fancy video to know that he can create in the pocket, elude the rush, look at him, dance around, he fakes pumps, throws the ball out there, arm talent, creativity, all of it, right? Now, as a straight runner, what do I got? He's dancing, he gets away, he eludes, he dances to the end zone. We constantly see this guy as a threat 
running the football down the field, here in the pocket, running around, running around, running around. What does he see? Well, now he can take off. What is he? He's a threat. He's an elite threat as a runner. So every category, you come back to this, and you're like, elite, 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 elite. What does that make him? An elite prospect. That's why Caleb Williams is number one. That's why he's a generational talent. That's why I've been raving about him ever since the start of this process, really ever since, in a lot of ways, he was at OU. He is as good of a quarterback as we've seen in a long time. Now, is it definitely going to pan out? I don't know. I don't know. Because sometimes fit has a lot to do with it. Is it going to work out in Chicago? Let's just say it this way. He's going to get drafted by the Bears, and the Bears are in a much better position for him to succeed, Caleb, than they were when Justin Fields was taken by the Bears. So I think it will work. Whether it does or not, that remains to be seen. But Caleb Williams is an elite player. Thank you for watching the Joel Class Show YouTube channel. And if you like this clip, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel, and you can stay up to date on all of my college football coverage.